Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review, and today from McFarlane Toys in their DC Multiverse line, we are featuring The Flash, Jay Garrick. Alright, so if you're a huge fan of like Justice Society and like Silver Age Flash, this figure is right up your alley. Uh, this portrays Jay Garrick as he appears in The Flash Age. Um, wonderful looking action figure. On the back, I think this is artwork done by artist Alex Ross, I believe. And it's a fantastic looking figure. Um, it's great that we're getting multiple hand options. You know, that's something McFarlane's been doing recently, and, and I'm, I'm all on board with that. You know, the more options you can give us with hands, the better. Uh, he comes with the lightning bolt effects, you know, to recreate him running, you know, because of the speed force or whatever. Uh, also remember, there's another Jay Garrick figure out. It's the Death Metal Flash Jay Garrick. Um, kind of similar, but somewhat different. Um, I believe the color scheme is a little bit richer in the reds and the blues, and also comes with the vest. Uh, but if you're more so about old school Jay Garrick from like JSA or Silver Age era, this is this is your guy. So this is a figure I've been anticipating greatly. Um, I'm a big fan of like the JSA, especially from uh, I think late 90s, early 2000s. Um, I'm hoping that in due time we get like uh, Alan Scott, Green Lantern, uh, Mr. Terrific, uh, Stargirl, Spectre, uh, Hawkman and Hawkgirl. Um, you know, that era of like JSA is like my jam, so... You know, fingers crossed that they deliver, you know, sometime in the near future. All right, so first impressions of Jay in the plastic tray. It looks great. You're really getting a lot of bang for your buck with this figure. Lots of accessories. You know, there's some McFarlane figures that come with, like, zero accessories. You know, this guy has extra hands. He comes with the running effects. It's awesome. So today is uh, May 5th, 2023, and I purchased this recently at my local Walmart. Um, I know he's also available online through retailers like Amazon, but for me, this was the first time I saw him in the wild, and I just wanted to you know, pull the trigger on this guy, and you know, hopefully this is the start of maybe for me a JSA collection. We'll see. Okay, let's take a look at Jay Garrick, a.k.a. The Flash. Alright, beautiful looking figure. Um, the red is seems to be like having issues with my camera. It's As you can see, it's constantly changing colors. Um, if you handle this figure in person... Wait, let me try to balance this out. All right, this should work. Uh, let's adjust the white balance on my camera with this white sheet of paper. And there you go. So it's a fantastic looking figure. Uh, it's a very reddish orange. Uh, thankfully, the silver on his hat, you know, it looks metallic-like. It doesn't look very, it doesn't look like a gray plastic at all. Uh, it has the wings on the top. I love the sculpting on the lightning bolt also. It's kind of, it's a relieved to detail so you can actually feel it. It's not just like strictly painted on. Uh, there's some versions of the Jay Garrick uh, Silver Age Flash where his costume has the lightning bolt also on the pant leg. Uh, but I think for the most part, most people know him without the lightning bolt on the leg. He has a lightning bolt or he has the wings uh, near the heels of his feet. It's a very slim figure, you know, they don't get carried away with any extra detailing, you know, there's no texturing on his uniform whatsoever. It's a very clean, spandex-like look. Uh, the face is painted nicely also, you know, there's some hints of, like, blush in his cheeks, 
in his lips. You know, it really breathes it really breathes life into the character. Unfortunately, he kind of suffers a little bit from that side eye. Um, he's not looking straight on. It looks like he's kind of looking a little bit off uh, towards his uh, left. But it's not as bad as like some f uh, figures we've gotten from McFarlane where they're completely looking off to the side. Um, articulation, his head rotates. Does he look down? About there, does he look up? Um, not so much. Arms rotate. Um, ball socket, ball socketed butterfly joint. Uh, my arms are kind of loose, a little bit floaty, um, but that's all right. Um, swivel at the bicep. Double pinned elbows. Um, articulated wrists. Uh, there's a cut uh, mid torso, so you can kind of roll around. Swivels at the waist. Legs kick up. Legs kick out. Double pinned knees, articulated ankles and toes. And let's see if we can recreate any running poses because he is the Flash. You know, he has to be able to run. So let's see if we can recreate a decent running pose with him. Yeah, so there you go. You know, you could get a nice forward motion. There he is running. And it'll probably look better if you swap out for like the flat hands. But it's a great looking figure. This is definitely, I think, a sleeper hit. And if you want a figure with more bling, don't forget there's the Jay Garrick death metal version where he comes with the vest and I think slightly richer colors. But yeah, fantastic figure overall. Highly recommended, especially if you're a fan of the Justice Society. Uh, for me, on a scale of 1 to 10, a solid 8.5. I think this is a fantastic action figure. Great addition to any collection. It's beautiful. All right, so let's wrap this one up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.